<sighs> it's an interesting way to kind of jump into the chosen. That's true. I kind of like it actually because mm. it's saying that the supernatural is real. The Bible is all about the supernatural. Right. And the story of Yeshua, the story of the disciples. This is all about the supernatural. Yeah, and there's only one cure. Hey everybody, welcome to Grafted. I'm Sam and this is Tom. We're both elders at a Messianic congregation and I lived in Jerusalem for two years studying the Bible from its first century Jewish context. Yeah, so we're gonna be looking at the character of Mary Magdalene from a Messianic perspective. I don't know if it was common, but we do have records of Pharisees doing exorcisms. Mm, that's a good note. That's a good note. And yeah. <laughs> they talk about demons mm -hmm. and everything in extra biblical Jewish literature. And actually, Yeshua also mentions other people doing deliverances mm. when he talks about that if I cast out demons, mm -hmm. um, if it's Beelzebub, mm -hmm. then then, then who do you cast out demons in the name right. of? Right. And so, right. So this is mm -hmm. a relevant topic apparently mm -hmm. in the first century. So. Right. By the holy angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Raziel, I adjure you, cursed dragon, and diabolical legions, come out! I adjure you, spawn of the Elzebub. Pattern and shield by the utterance of all the watchers. He's named like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got all these angels that he's referring to. Mm -hmm. We have these angels in Enoch mm -hmm. and maybe Jubilees as well. Mm. But uh, it talks about how the angels go before you and behind you and to your right and to your left. He's talking about Abaddon, which is the pit. He's right. talking about Sheol, mm -hmm. which is Beelzebub. Hades, Beelzebub, mm -hmm. the Watchers. Mm. This goes back to Genesis chapter 6. Oh, and right. this co-mingling mm. between angels right. and the uh, daughters of mm -hmm. uh, men. And <laughs> actually, in the first century, the understanding of the origin of demons mm -hmm. was that they were the offspring uh, of the Watchers. So the giants mm -hmm. or the Nephilim in Genesis 6, right. that when they died, mm -hmm. that their spirits mm. remained. Mm. And that's what became the demons. And that's what the demons are. And so they're longing to be re-embodied oh, wow. because yeah. they used to have this yeah. giant body. Mm. And so they're longing to be in a person or an animal mm. or something. So that's actually... Uh, what people understood demons to be in the first century. Wow. Uh, at least in, in this Jewish context. So. We are not afraid of you. You have no power here, teacher. The other interesting part is that her name is Lilith. Hmm. And in Jewish history, Lilith is... Uh, really this female representation of evil mm. and has a long Jewish tradition of mm -hmm. really weird uh, right. evil stuff. I won't right. go down that road, yeah. but it's, I assume it's probably intentional. Right. So Nicodemus is the teacher of teachers, yeah. he's the teacher of Israel. And sometimes people will say, oh, you know, Jesus, he was just a good teacher, mm. right? Mm. And well, what we're going to see here is he's not just a good teacher, right. but he also has the power mm -hmm. to deliver. Mary. Mary of Magdala. Says the Lord who created you, and he who formed you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine.
Wow, it gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of if that, if those specific words were in the text, it's the reality of who he is yeah. as the God of the universe. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're capturing, that, that his words change everything. And he knows you. Mm, so good. Like even before you knew him, he had all of this knowledge yeah. of who you are and where you've been, and he's been there the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then he can call you out of darkness and into his light. I think it's important for the viewer to see it through her eyes and to see mm -hmm. that he met her in a bar, um, yeah. that he was where she was at her lowest, um, and that when she said, "Leave me alone," mm -hmm. uh, which is what I think we do sometimes, sure. he was like. He was like, yeah, that's not going to happen tonight. You know? <laughs> so yes, I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have to be home to prepare for Shabbat, as I'm sure you do. So mean that you're even hosting Shabbat dinner. It will be nothing like yours, I'm sure of that. But I'm going to try. Did you notice at the very end, like, he gets this little tear. Oh, I didn't see like, it. It's like, you can barely see it. Oh, that's cool. But he gets this little tear. Mm. And, and what he was tearing up about, at least it seems like in that moment, was he's like, you're going to observe Shabbat? Mm. Mm. Like, right. you, even... You're, and, you're so transformed now. Right. You can even enter in. To, and I think that's so... Like, that's one of the things we love about The Chosen, because... Yeah. When you encounter Yeshua as a Jewish person, mm. it actually encourages them to be more Jewish. That's good. And not necessarily all the ways that Jewish tradition interprets that. Sure. Which is an important distinction, right? right? So, but this true understanding of mm -hmm. what Sabbath is, mm -hmm. which actually Jesus ends up talking quite a bit about what true Sabbath looks like. I've noticed recently that when Jesus heals someone and then he tells them not to tell anybody about it. And they tell everybody? They tell everybody about it. Do you think it was reverse psychology? Is that I what you're know. saying? I don't know. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Mary. I like to, like he's called, he called her Mary mm -hmm. there and early on in their conversation yeah. when she says that's not my name or right. whatever. Because remember the scripture was that I've called you I've, my name. I, I know I've called you by name. Wow. And so then he's actually like, he doesn't know it, but he's, they're yeah. picking, they're writing that in there. Oh, it's and such she's good like, writing. He, he knew me. You oh, know? Like man. she's being, back to you were saying, like mm -hmm. being known and like mm -hmm. everybody wants to be known, oh, for sure. especially by God, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but would it be okay if, if I. Oh! Yes. I like it how throughout The Chosen, they always make it awkward. Like, oh, yeah. People are always like, oh, that's him. You know, like he's a, a celebrity. A celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they really would have been like that. I mean, like, God came to the earth. You imagine? You know, and just be like, you know, just like bumping fists with them. You're right. like, oh. But, but they, all, like, they do a good job of the, of the human side of him, too. Like, mm -hmm. so... Can I come in? Oh, I'm hungry too. <laughs> let's say Yeshua knocked on your door, Sam. Um, and let's say you guys are getting ready to eat Shabbat dinner okay. and you open that door. I'd be like, we gotta we gotta clean. Hold on just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, I'm honored to be here. Why don't you begin? Oh no, I, I couldn't now that you are here. You must. Thank you, but this is your home. And I would love for you to do it. Oh man. Wow. Okay. She's about to say. Kiddush, yeah. Kiddush, which means to sanctify or to set apart the Sabbath as holy. And what she's doing, she's hosting Shabbat for the first time in who knows how long. Right. And it's this this beautiful, like, she's coming into her identity right. that, that he just made a way for. And it's affirming her Jewish identity. For sure. Again, this is why what's great about what the Chosen right. is doing. It's right. like... In Jesus, in Yeshua, the Jewish people, when they accept him, they don't become less Jewish. Right. Like she's becoming more Jewish, mm -hmm. you could say, in that sense. Like she's following. If you love me, you will follow my commandments. Right. And since she's Jewish, this right. is a part of the covenant God gave to Israel. Mm -hmm. It'll be behind the bar. <laughs> a woman 
should know her place. I suppose you're going to show me? I know there's been a lot of controversy on how the yeah. Chosen's portraying uh, Miriam here, but I mean, it's also, whether it's true or not, it's also just real life. People right. make mistakes For and sure. people uh, have trouble uh, going back to their old life. Mm -hmm. And so they're, I think they're just trying to make it real and right. human. Dreaming you. <laughs> Can you walk? I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> we have to go back. No, I can't. Come on, Mary. He told us to come for No, you. <laughs> no. He already fixed me once. And I broke again. It's just classic, right? She, when you are in sin and you've done something wrong, you're like, I, I'm not worthy to come to be with these people that love God. I'm not worthy to come to the Lord. I'm not worthy to come to service. I'm right. not worthy. You know, you don't feel like you're worthy. Right. And you're right. Like there's there's none found worthy. And right. yet we're still called mm -hmm. to come yeah. and run to him. Repentance mm -hmm. means to turn in Hebrew mm -hmm. and run to him. Right. It's not just I'm sorry. It's, come to him she's sorry maybe for what she did but now they're trying sure. to get her to turn go to him and actually yeah. come back to him right i'm just so sorry look up <laughs> i can't you can look at me He who has been forgiven much, well, I forgive you. Wow. <laughs> Those words, like, <laughs> who hasn't fallen short, man? Right? <sighs> I think maybe the whole world needed to hear those words. Thank you, Chosen. <laughs> that was <laughs> powerful. That was really good. Thanks for watching this video. Please support us financially. You can do it tax-free by clicking down here. And if you want to watch more reaction videos to The Chosen, click right, chomp.